Hello, Greenwood fifth graders. Welcome to Greenwood Middle School. We're going to take you on a little tour today and give you some information about this coming up school year. Follow me. Let me start off introducing myself. I'm Mr. Sutton. I'll be your principal next year. We're going to start off by showing you where most of your classes will be next year. And we'll introduce you to Mrs. Brinker, our assistant principal, and Mr. Harker, our dean and athletic director. Let's go. Welcome, this is the sixth grade hallway. It's on the second floor. This is where most of all your classes will be next year. You have your language arts classes, your math class, science and social studies all up here in this one hallway, along with your own personal locker. This will be your typical schedule for next year. There are nine periods we have here at the middle school. Every day starts off with a pride class. That's where we remediate and or enrich kids during this time. And then everybody will have a math, language arts, reading, science and social studies class. All of these right here will be in this hallway that we just showed you. And then if you stand signed up for band or choir, you'll have one of those. And uh, if you don't, you'll have a study hall. But you also have BIT class, which is the Business and Information Technologies class. One day and every other day you'll have music class with that. And depending on what you do with band or choir, this will look a little bit different for each student. And then every child will also have a PE class every day. I'm Mrs. Brinker. I will be your assistant principal next year. Mr. Sutton already told you a little bit about what your schedule will look like in a day. There are four minute passing periods in between each of those classes. During that time, a bell will ring and you will come out into the hallway and have that four minutes to use the restroom or go to your locker if necessary. I'm going to show you how to get into a locker. A lot of kids are very nervous about this to start off and they're concerned that they're not gonna be able to get their locker open. That's okay, you're not alone. There are gonna be a lot of adults that are out here in the hallway to help you. If you have a lock at home that you can already begin practicing on how to open a combination, that will help. But I'll go ahead and show you on one of our lockers how you can get into it. So, for this locker, the combination starts with the number 46. You wanna spin it around a couple times to the right and go to the number 46 and stop. The next number is 24. So I'm going to pass 24 once, going counterclockwise, and come back to it here and stop. The last number is 40. So I'm gonna turn right again and go to 40 and stop and open the locker. You can see this is a well-organized locker. You are allowed to decorate the inside of your locker if you so choose to do that. You cannot put anything on the outside of your locker that could mess it up or scratch it up. Also, don't give anyone else your locker combination. They might be your friend and you might think, oh, they can store something in here and then maybe somebody else gets a hold of it and it can become a real problem. So this is your combination, your combination only but start thinking about what fun things or pictures you might want to hang on the inside. Throughout the school year, every day, you'll hear me say these three things. Be kind, listen to adults, work hard in class. It's kind of our recipe to being successful here at the middle school and having a good day for yourself. If you're not doing this consistently, well then, Mrs. Brinker has some things to talk to you about. So, frowny face, if you aren't being kind and working hard in class and listening to adults, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the consequences at Greenwood Middle School. We have over 900 kids here and it's really important that we make sure that our rules are enforced. So we have a very organized discipline plan. If you do get in trouble for class for something somewhat small, 
you would get something called a conduct slip. If it's something more major, you'll get a referral from that. Whenever the teacher enters that electronically, your parents will get notified via the email that they provided during registration to let them know that you've gotten into trouble at school. There are steps to our discipline plan, so the more, con the more that you get in trouble, the harsher the consequences get. So it might start off at step one where you're getting some lunch detention, but once we get further into the plan, we look at Friday night school, which is detention after school on a Friday. Nobody wants to do that. Uh, we have in-school suspensions and even out-of-school suspensions. So make sure that you're following the rules. If you're curious what our rules at the middle school are, you can go on our website and find our student agenda book and it has all of those listed so that you're making sure that you're following the directions. So you don't have to worry about any of that if you follow these. Be kind, listen to adults, and work hard at class. to make sure that you're successful for school is that you're dressed appropriately. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about our dress code at Greenwood Middle School. The number one problem that we see that kids sometimes have is with the length of shorts or rips in jeans. You um, cannot have jeans with holes in them that are above fingertip length. So any sort of distressing or fraying of the jeans, we don't want that anywhere above your fingertips. Same thing with the length of shorts or skirts, dresses. Those need to be fingertip length or longer. Not fingertip length when you do this. When you naturally rest your arms at your side, they need to be fingertip length. Uh, hoodies. A lot of you like having those hoods up on your hoodies. Not when you enter the school building. Those hoods need to be down. Okay, and then as always, as was the case in elementary school, you need to make sure that there are no inappropriate messages or anything written or pictures on your clothing that aren't appropriate for school. Again, it's up to administration to make the decision. Um, so there might be other things that become disruptive that we don't allow here at school and we'll let you know. But as you're doing shopping online right now, possibly for coming back to school, and you're wondering if something is appropriate or not, again, you can look at that handbook online for more information. Or also just keep in mind, if you're not sure and you think this might be okay, but I might get in trouble for it, err on the side of caution and just don't get it. You're not gonna be comfortable all day if you're wondering if you're breaking dress code or not. So make sure that you're following all those rules. Otherwise, you will get sent down to the office and you will either have to change your clothes if you have something else or put on your PE uniform, which we'll talk about in a little bit here. And that's not the most fashionable look to be walking around in all day. Hey, Mrs. Brinker, what about cell phones? What's the policy on cell phones? As far as having cell phones, you need to make sure that we do not see or hear them unless you've been told that you're allowed to have those out. If we do see or hear your cell phone, like it goes off in class or you have it out in the hallway, it's not an excuse to say that you were just checking the time. Okay, so those cell phones will be confiscated. They will be locked up in the office for three days you will be allowed to have it back at the end of the third day. If for some reason there's a family emergency, a parent can come in and pick up that cell phone and then you will have a week's worth of lunch detention instead. Again, think about the disturbance that could be caused if cell phones are just going off all day throughout the middle of class. Additionally, I would encourage kids to limit the use of social media. A lot of the drama that we see that comes down in the office is something that has started on Instagram or Snapchat, and it's a lot easier for people to say mean things online than it is to your face. So we wanna avoid cyberbullying here, and I wanna be clear that you can be in trouble at school for something that happens outside of school on social media. So make smart decisions. Most of those sites want you to at least be 14 anyway to have an account and it's too much for you to have to worry about and handle right now. So let's just stay focused on school, following the rules, and doing what you are here to do, which is learn. Hi, I'm Mr. Harker. I'm our Dean of, of Students and Athletic Director here at the middle school. And I just wanted to spend a little bit of time talking to you about some of the clubs and activities that are available here at GMS. In addition to all the new things that you're gonna be experiencing as sixth graders, like your class schedule, your new lockers, your passing periods, there's also quite a few 
varieties of opportunities and activities for you to get involved in here. Some of the clubs and activities will meet during the school day and some after school. You can find a list of, of those clubs and activities in the student handbook available on our website. Some of the more popular ones include robotics, uh, the, the games club, the science club that meets during the, the school day, the academic teams, and a variety of different ones uh, that are included on that list as well. In addition to clubs and activities, we also have athletics that sixth graders can participate in here at the middle school. As student athletes, it's important to remember that you are students first, and eligibility is determined based upon your performance in the classroom. A student that has two or more Fs is not eligible to participate on school teams. And in addition, they're not able to attend school events and games that are after school as well. So it's really important to remember that your grades come first. We have a variety of different sports that you can participate in. Stay tuned for more information about fall tryout dates at the beginning of this school year. Opportunities for sixth graders this fall include boys and girls soccer, boys tennis, cross country, girls golf. We have a variety of other sports that occur throughout the year and if you look, you can find our schedules online. Oh, hi! Since we're here in the gym, let's go ahead and talk to you about PE uniforms. Here is your top of your uniform right here. And they'll go along and coordinate with these shorts right here. If you ask me, best looking PE uniform in the county. Let's take a walk to the locker room. You will be getting changed for PE each and every day. You'll be assigned a PE locker in the locker room here. Make sure that anything that you have, you put into your PE locker and make sure you lock it up. You don't leave things along the bench. Uh, unfortunately, things will happen for, to things that have been left out. So let's make sure when you come down to PE, everything that you have can fit into your PE locker. And a big suggestion for you, especially boys, Every Friday, take your uniform home, get it washed, bring it back on Monday. You'll have it here all week long, okay? Now that we've come downstairs and you've had an opportunity to see the locker room and the gym, I want to let you know exactly what else is down here that you might come downstairs for for class. So the cafeteria is right over this way. Uh, that is where you'll be eating lunch after fourth period. So your lunch is pretty early in the day. I would suggest on those first days of school, if you have a friend that you know you want to sit with, talk to them ahead of time. Maybe come up with a spot you might try and meet. It's pretty chaotic those first few days getting through the lunch line. So if you're trying to decide whether or not to eat school lunch or bring your lunch, just keep that in mind as well. Um, so we also have the gym right here, which you just saw some awesome basketball being played in. Down here in the Related Arts Hallway, you will also find the choir and band classrooms. So come walk with me and we'll show you inside. Now, the choir, in addition to sixth grade choir, you have the opportunity to possibly be in vocal direct, our top choir, our show choir. That is, it meets during first period, period during that pride time that Mr. Sutton talked about earlier. Additionally, the middle school now hosts an annual musical. So next year's musical is Annie. Uh, if you want to start listening to that soundtrack now, if you plan on going ahead and trying out for that next spring, I would recommend it. Let's come look inside. So we are now inside of the choir room. Notice all of the wonderful trophies back here that have been won on our field trip that we take every year to Kings Island. Additionally, if you have a general music class, this is where you will meet in Miss Lincourt's room, right back there where those desks are. Next, we'll go take a look at the band room so you can see where you'll be practicing and learning to make all those great sounds. Let's Oh, you're here. So this is the band room. So if you have signed up for sixth grade band, that is hosted throughout the day in smaller sections, depending on what instrument you've decided to play. You can see that this is a beautiful band room. You'll be meeting here 
or there are some small breakout rooms where you might be working with a smaller section of other people that play your instrument. So again, if you decide that you want to be in band and you have not already signed up, you need to go to our website where you can find Mr. Kaluger's email address and send him an email as soon as possible. Well, that about does it. I want to thank you for sharing your time and watching this video. We covered a lot, but we did not cover everything. The closer we get to the beginning of school next year, there will be other communications on where you get off at the bus, if your parents drop you off or pick you up and how to do that. So there's a lot of other things that uh, we will get back with you. But for now, we're going to end it. And I want to remind everybody, don't forget, be kind, listen to adults, work hard in class, and you'll have a great middle school career. Thanks. Well, I think we covered everything. You've seen that you cannot fit inside of a locker. They're too small. And you have to change for PE each and every day, which everybody's weird about that, but that's okay. So if you have any other questions, there will be a time that you can ask us. Until then, I think Mr. Sutton and I are just going to keep living here in the concession stand off of the food left over, and we can't wait until we see you in the fall. Take care and be safe. Bye. Bye.